In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use graduated filters in Lightroom for dodging and burning. So you can turn a photo that looks like this into this. What's up guys, Reggie B Photo here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Reggie Ballesteros and I'm a wedding photographer based in the San Francisco Bay Area. So dodging and burning or selectively lightening and darkening specific parts of a photo is a skill that every photo editor should have in their toolbox. And while there are a few tools to do this, including the brush tool and the radial filter, my preferred tool in Lightroom for dodging and burning, molding the light and drawing focus to the subject is the graduated filter tool. I use graduated filters on practically every single photo that I edit and today I'm going to walk you through how. So let's jump into Lightroom and use this 21 image bokeh panorama as an example. So generally what I see right here is that the bright exposure on the outsides is really detracting and distracting from the main subject right here which is in the center. Um, so my plan for this edit is to first and foremost apply my color preset but also try to get the eye to be more directed and focused on the center and that's going to be done mainly with the graduated filters which is my choice tool for dodging and burning um, so i'm going to show you that that's just my initial game plan i'll show you how i get there step by step so first is to apply my color preset right here and then um honestly at this point i don't really like how matte tone curve is right now so i'm going to use the color fade 9 which is basically going to bring the the color fade a little bit more tame then we're gonna adjust the exposure a little bit here so bring down the exposure increase the contrast a little bit here and we're gonna pump up the shadows I'm gonna try to bring down the highlights and here I'm really just mainly focusing on the skin tones in the face and now we can work on the white balance a little bit here warm this up it's too warm let's see somewhere around here it's looking a little bit too much tint there is still some red in here so I'm gonna take that out a little bit with the saturation and bring up the luminance at this point it's looking a lot better and we're gonna do some sharpening right here bring down the radius So not too bad, but I do think that we need more filters and dodging and burning. So what I'm going to do is start laying on some graduated filters and I mainly do this just by just dragging them down, just adding them incrementally until I get the effect that I want. Here we can check out to see how much this molded the light. And you can see it molded it by quite a bit here. Maybe probably too much right here. Then I do like to do a little I just reduce the exposure back. This is just a very, very subtle draw-in. So again, you can see the photo is a lot better and we mainly did our work around just trying to get the exposure to bring the eye in more to the center. So that's kind of my approach for using the graduated filter to do a lot of heavy lifting and kind of exposure molding. If you learned something new in this Lightroom tutorial, give it a like and let me know down in the comments below what Lightroom tool or slider you want me to go over in a future video. Also, if you want to learn exactly how I captured and stitched together this 21 image bokeh panorama using the Brenizer method, check out my tutorial linked up above or down in the description below. As always, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I make a new Fujifilm or photography video every week. 
And if that's too long for you, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at at photo as I'm always posting new tips, tricks, and tutorials throughout the week. All right, that's it for me. Remember to get out, go shoot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.